Okay. Uh, I'm going to point you to a video. Uh, it's the guy's channel is off grid with Curtis Stone. He's a prepper up in Canada. He's a homesteader, all that. That much I'm really not concerned about. That's not my, that's not why I'm pointing, pointing to it. He did a video. Uh, I can't remember the title. It'll be in the description, the link. But he talks about four or five points of what's going on in his mind. He's, he's, ha I've watched him before. He has some really good videos about just the, the way the world is going. Then he has some incredible stuff about solar and, and off-grid and all that. <clears throat> but about six minutes in, he starts talking about um, don't feed six or ten, ten. It doesn't matter. You watch the whole thing. It's good. The whole video is good. But he talks about don't feed the beast. And he says it both in a, in a, um, what do you call it? In the spiritual sense as well as just a, um, I can't think of the other word. I'm losing my words. Anyhow, but he talks about don't feed the beast. He talks about your state of mind. Um, and he, he talks about as you don't want to get full of anger and resentment and all this kind of stuff and frustrated because it lowers your your frequency. You become a low frequency individual and that feeds the beast, that feeds the system. Um, and he means that two ways and I think both are correct, especially in a spiritual sense without getting into the weeds or into some far out metaphysical stuff. Don't worry, but it's not new age or something like that. Um, <clears throat> He talks about how you should be reacting to the, the world's coming apart. Okay, the Western culture is coming apart. But he talks about your reaction to it, and I think if you look at that, even if you just look at it from a spiritual sense, what Jesus requires, I think he makes a lot of sense. It's something worth worthwhile. He talks about how he's still of, you know, he has no, he doesn't have a bunch of negative thoughts. He has a very positive outlook, even though the things are the way that they are. And I think that was really um, that might be helpful to you. But anyway, go to the video. I don't want to, I'll paraphrase it and butcher it. Go to the video. And in the first, it's the second or third thing. You can watch the whole video. In the end, he gets into some real estate stuff, which I don't care for. Um, but go to the video. Watch the first 20 minutes of it when he talks about don't feed the beast. I'd even listen to that thing two or three times because it makes a lot of sense without, and you could, you could totally use this from a biblical sense, a spiritual sense. So I got a lot out of it, and I think you will too. Check it out. It'll be the link will be in the description below. Love you. God bless.